Audio Jungle. Here at Don Whitley Scientific, we are able to offer calibration and validation services alongside our service and maintenance contracts. In this video, we will explain the difference between calibration and validation and explain how this could relate to your products. When using autoclaves for sterilization, it is critical that the required temperature has been reached and maintained for the required period to ensure an adequate probability of sterility is achieved. Calibration of the autoclave ensures that it is performing correctly. The act of calibration is to measure or compare a value against a known standard. Using the example of an autoclave, we would look to compare any value given by the temperature probes within the autoclave with the values provided by our test equipment during sterilization. In addition, we also compare the sterilization time displayed against a calibrated stopwatch. We use a calibrated chart recorder and six thermocouples to accurately measure the temperatures in the autoclave chamber, along with a calibrated stopwatch to compare the sterilization time. Our thermocouples are inserted into the chamber and a cycle is initiated. As the autoclave enters sterilization, we log the data provided by the thermocouples and the time from the stopwatch. Results are then recorded and compared. If required and where possible, adjustments will be made to the autoclave and a rerun of the cycle carried out to confirm the successful adjustment. Most customers request calibration annually or biannually Calibration is also advised after a temperature probe replacement or where maintenance involving the main circuit board has been undertaken or after an autoclave is being used after a long period of inactivity. An autoclave that has been calibrated and whose instruments have been proven to read accurately only means the autoclave is performing correctly. It does not prove sterility. For that, you need to look to validation. The process of validation allows us to confirm by measurement that an entire load has achieved the required temperature for the required time period. A validation by its very nature encompasses a calibration as part of the process. To validate, a representative load is required, not necessarily media, but water can be used for liquid cycles. As with calibration, six thermocouples are placed within the autoclave chamber. A further six are placed within different parts of the load to be validated. The function of these additional thermocouples is to monitor the temperatures achieved throughout the cycle. It is recommended that validation be carried out as a result of a new program being set up to autoclave a previously unvalidated load, a change to the previously validated cycle, i.e. change to temperature or time requirements, a change to the load previously validated, i.e. the number of bottles being autoclaved or a change in the size of the containers. Extensive maintenance or bringing an autoclave back into service after a period of inactivity or where an autoclave has been relocated. In general, once a validation has been carried out and providing that no changes have been made to the load or the settings, calibration of that cycle going forward is sufficient. However, it is always worth reviewing any validation periodically to ensure the validated cycle still meets your requirements.